Full time from Goodison Park. You're watching Toonami TV, the match review. This is not a drill. This is real. Newcastle United have finally won a game. It finished Everton nil. Newcastle United 2. Callum Wilson with the double. Two goals. That's his 10th goal of the season. And it's a big three points for the turn. We fully deserved that. Everton were second best throughout. And I would have been very disappointed had we walked away from Goodison Park with no points. The performance was there. And all I ask as a Newcastle fan is that the lads go out and give 110%. They're putting some good challenges and they work the goalkeeper. And I was very surprised at Steve Bruce's selection. But I was also surprised at the 4-3-3 formation that Steve Bruce went with. That's quite brave. Is it the Graham Jones effect? It could be. When you're playing 4 3 3 against an Everton side that have quality, you're really taking a risk. But you know what? It's worked. It's got a result. And not only is this a big result, it's a big result in terms of it puts us clear of the relegation zone and it keeps us in touch with the likes of Burnley, Crystal Palace, Wolves. It just takes a bit of pressure off. This was a huge game. And we've got two bigger games coming up in the week against Crystal Palace in Southampton. I would have been happy with a point at Goodison Park. I said before the game, I will take a 1-1 draw. Just something to build on, a platform. But I tell you what, the lads have really um, dug themselves in and got that result. And it's a huge clean sheet as well. It's good for the confidence. And I tell you, we've got what it takes to go and beat Crystal Palace on Tuesday. I think we can beat them. And if we can beat them and beat Southampton, we could be picking up nine points from... You know, a position where before kickoff we hadn't won in 11 games. We lost five straight Premier League games. Well, that's changed now. I feel like the lads have set a bar. They've set the bar to a point where we can get a Crystal Palace and play the same and get a result. Because I don't believe that Crystal Palace or Everton. But as for Everton, I was really surprised at how they started the game and how they ended it. I just didn't see anything from them to suggest that they were going to get anything today. We had the best chances in the game. Wilson came close with a header in the first half and you're thinking, I hope that's not our only chance because he's looking lively and it's only a matter of time before he gets a goal. I was saying to a few lads in a group chat that if we can keep them quiet, that's Everton, for a good hour, bring ASM on, then we've got a chance of getting at the Everton defence. They're going to make mistakes and we could score a couple of goals and that's exactly what's happened. We've got a couple of Callum Wilson goals and it's gave us a massive three points down at Goodison Park. I don't think an Everton fan can come on here and say that they deserved anything from that game because we controlled bossed it. You'd think we're at St James's Park with 52,000 fans, the way the lads played today. And that says a lot when we've been under massive pressure. And Steve Bruce was under a lot of pressure, but maybe it's eased it a little bit. I'm not saying because we've won that I'm pro Steve Bruce. I still want Steve Bruce out. However, we need to build on this result. That's what I'm trying to say. We need to just go into the next game and look to get um, all three points again and pull further clear of that relegation zone. It's kind of a kick in the teeth for Brighton, for Fulham, for West Brom, for Sheffield United, for those teams at the bottom. And I've said before, I believe in the lads. We've got good ability. We've got players there that can get where higher up the league. I'm not saying top 10, but in the sort of top half of mid-table. Callum Wilson is a natural goal scorer. And if you give him the service, he'll put the ball in the back of the net. And that's what he's done on two occasions. Uh, so we'll go into the start 11. So Steve Bruce went 4-3-3. Uh, he went with Carl Darlow and net. Mankio, Hayden, Fabian Scher, Lascelles and Jamal Lewis. Hendrick, John Joe Shelby, Almiron, Fraser and Wilson. Now, I'm not going to lie. I was surprised that John Joe Shelby and Hendrick were playing because they've been poor in recent games. However, they both had a decent game, in my opinion. They were much better today, more of a threat. Fraser was fantastic. Almiron was amazing as ever. Wilson, what more can I say? Without his goals, we wouldn't be where we are. Hayden, decent. Shaw, decent. Lascelles, decent. Lewis, decent. Honestly, Darlow, when called upon, made some fantastic saves. So we'll, we'll go into the game. The first big chance come on the 17th minute, and that was for Charlton. Uh, he was put through a good save by Carl Darlow. Nothing too difficult. And then Hendrick uh, from a corner on the 29th minute, he put one in for Callum Wilson. He was free and he matched that corner with a good header, which was going on target. A good tip over by Jordan Pickford. He gets a lot of stick, but that was a very good save. And that just set the bar for us in terms of the game itself. On the 34th minute, 
James Rodriguez uh, was put through and it was a good save by Carl Darlow. Nothing came of it. Half-time 0-0. I think it's probably the fair scoreline in terms of the chances created. We had the best one through Callum Wilson. But second half, I'm thinking to myself, if we just go up a level, we've got a chance of getting something here. Like Everton don't look great. So second half comes around and uh, 52 minutes in. So there's a chance there when Ryan Fraser uh, puts a ball across to Callum Wilson. He's free inside the box and somehow he puts it wide. For me, he's got to get that on target. He's got to work Pickford at the very least. But listen, he's putting himself about in good areas of the pitch. And that's what you want. You've got your wide players putting the ball in to your striker, which is Callum Wilson. And with other formations, we've not been allowed to do that. But with a 4-3-3 expressing ourselves, the, 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 the wingers have been allowed to express themselves. And that's how Fraser found himself in that position to put the ball across to Callum Wilson uh, for him to have that chance. But listen, he didn't just um, drop his head. He continued to play. Uh, so Steve Bruce uh, made his first change and he brought on uh, Keeman Clark. Captain Jamal Asselz went off. Uh, the game wasn't really going anywhere. It was Newcastle keeping a hold of possession. Everton having possession at times, but nothing really happening. So Steve Bruce then rolled the dice a second time. Uh, he took off Ryan Fraser and brought on ASM uh, for the last 20 plus minutes. And I tell you what, that's a positive sub. When you need someone of his ability, of his pace, of his skill, of his trickery, to you know get at the Everton defence when they're looking vulnerable and they're not looking like doing anything, he is a real threat and he's going to terrify any defence and that's exactly uh, what he's done and that's the reason why we have got the victory uh, in that sort of last 25 minutes of the game and then on 73 minutes uh, we get a corner which Shelby takes ball into the box no one's picking up Callum Wilson and he just glances ahead header beyond Jordan Pickford into the bottom left-hand corner it's a great header, fantastic. He's ninth goal of the season and I tell you what, it's been deserved. When you look back at the first half chance he had, the header, then you look back at the uh, chance he had when Ryan Fraser squared it across to him and he missed, that's been coming. And Everton, for me, were second best in that second half, if not the whole game. And uh, Everton were very poor in marking Callum Wilson for me. He'll never score an easier uh, goal all season. Pickford, could he have done better? Well, I don't think he was helped uh, by their defence, if I'm being honest with their, with their so point of view, but it's a great header by Callum Wilson, nevertheless. And then we'll continue to fret, and then going into extra time, or sort of added on time, Wilson is then on to a second goal, and it all comes from Everton's like set piece. ESM is put through. ESM then picks out Jamal Lewis. Jamal Lewis is put through. He then is in eight gas of space. He picks up Callum Wilson, who finds space around the box, takes a touch. It kind of looks like it's going wide, but he manages to control it and he puts it beyond Jordan Pickford in the bottom left-hand corner and it's 2-0 to the 2 and I'm just like, get in there. It's just relief because 1-0, it's just never enough in a game. But in terms of the performance, the way we kicked on in that second half, I think we deserved that, in my opinion. It was the case of just not giving up and just to keep on playing. Because at 1-0 down, it's very easy to switch off. And on the performance, like we played ever so well. If only we can play like that every week, then we'll not be in this trouble. The fans will not get on the manager's back. If he can be this positive in a lot of games, lead up to the end of the season, then a lot of fans will change on Steve Bruce. But I'm not saying that I'm going to change my mind on one performance. But I tell you what, it was a good team performance this afternoon. That's what I was looking for. The team spirit, the performance, the hunger... It was all there. It was all there for, to, for everyone to see. You know, it was it was a good performance. It was the Newcastle of old, just defending well and counter-attacking and putting the defence of Everton under pressure. That's what you've got to do in this league. You've got to be clinical and you can't give up either uh, when things aren't going your way because we could have easily done that when Callum Wilson missed two big chances. But listen, you continue uh, to probe away and it was just great to see uh, that... Callum Wilson's now got an extra two goals to his tally. That's 10 now. Uh, he's got a double uh, for us this season. Listen, I believe that the lad can get more. I've said he can get 15, 20 goals a season. And when ESM is fully fit, uh, when he's starting games, we're going to look at Fred again. And you can see what the likes of Fraser bring to the side. You know, he's pace, he's energy. If you play players in the correct positions and we've got a chance, you know, of winning games, Hayden at centre-back, have to give him a massive uh, shout-out. He was then playing in, in sort of midfield. He was sort of, you know, chopping and changing at times, but 
I have to say, like, it's just a relief that we've won a game. You know, I can come in here and be positive and not, you know, rant and rave because I don't want to do that. I want to come on and just say, you know, fantastic result. Let's kick on, move on to the next game and get another result. And I'm at the point now where we are so full of confidence that we can go get something against Crystal Palace. I said it leading into the Everton game. If we show the Leeds second half performance against Everton today, we've got every chance. And I said Everton blow hot and cold. They are getting touted as like title contenders and that they're going to do this, they're going to do that. Well, I still think they're way off. I said that before. They've proven it today like they were just second best. And it's not the first time that Everton have come unstuck. Of course, they've um, come unstuck in most games this season. But I have to say, it, it's a deserved result. You know, I've, I think now we can just kick on from here and get something in the next game. Uh, that now puts us, us on 22 points. So that will not put us ahead of Burnley. But as said before, keeps us in touch with the rest in mid-table. Um, obviously, below Burnley on goal difference, but it's a massive, massive result because if we'd lost today in Fulham and West Brom, or one of them won, then we're right back in uh, trouble now. So we'll put ourselves 10 points clear of Fulham. Or is it nine points? I think it's nine points now. That might change, of course, uh, with the games this afternoon. But I'm in a much better mood after that. And I have to say, if there's a man of the match, it has to be Callum Wilson. He was fantastic today and clinical when we needed him. The players all stepped up. And I have to say, from the manager to the players today, take a lot of credit you know, for the performance. And uh, let's try and kick on now and not just let this be one off result. Let's just go into the Crystal Palace game with the same attitude, the same mentality, and we've got a chance. So uh, Newcastle United take the three points at Goodison Park. I'm over the moon. My weekend can start now. I can enjoy the rest of it for at least the next three, four days at least until we play Crystal Palace. And uh, yeah, let me know what you thought about that game. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. I'm trying to get to 3,600 subscribers. Less than five away. So if you can hit that subscribe button, it would mean the world to us. Hit the like button for that big result today. Can we get over 30 likes on this video? That would be amazing. And uh, yeah, you drop your comments down below and let me know your man of the match, your performer of the match, how we played and whatnot. And uh, turn on your notification bell so you never miss a video from yourself. Follow me on social media, Toonami TV, Instagram and Twitter. And I'll see you all in the next one. Take it easy. Hold with the lads. Get in there.